Hi, Blue from the Grey Nomads Forum and I just wanted to show you today a simple relay circuit to protect your car's battery while supplying power to your caravan while driving. As you can see that this is a four pin relay. You have pin 30, 86, 87 and 85. 86 and 85 are your switch. It's an electric switch. Well, 87 and 30 supply power down to your 12 pin plug to supply power to your van. Now to get the switch to work, you need a power wire that is hooked into your ignition that only operates when your ignition is in the on position. Um, you also want it on the uh, electric side of your car and not the electronic side of your car. Stay away from electronic ignitions, electronic fuel injections, and things like that. A spike back through that circuit, or a short circuit back at your plug, um, will fizz your computer, and you could be up for five, six, seven thousand dollars. So what I've done with mine, I've joined it into the wiper motor circuit onto the power wire, which only comes on when I turn the ignition on. And when the, I turn the ignition on, the power runs through from 86 to 85 and then through to the ground and that switches that on. Once that switch is on, power then flows to your caravan refrigerator. So let's go and have a look at that in real life. Just go out the back here. Oh, they're my plaques from when I was in the army. Um, there's School of Armour tech support. One here is from uh, School of Transport, which turned into ALTC. Um, I had a name change while I was there. It's Paco Logistics Battalion, that one up there, who also had a, a name to change to Southern Logistics Group. There's a few plaques I got while I was in the Army. Just come out to my shed here. Now when trying to find a power wire, um, you know, we obviously need a test light. This is the one I've got here. Make sure that they are a computer safe test light. If you poke something that you shouldn't, you're not going to fizz your computer. You can just run them off you know, any earth off your car on the side of the car or off the earth on the battery in this case. And you find a wire and she lights up and tells you it's on. Now my relay's down here, I've got him upside down, you can see it, but I've just run it, you can see my wiper motor there, if I can just focus it in, and I've just hooked into the power wire, and it comes down to my uh, relay, if I can just focus it for you, and you'll see the blue wire here, which goes to the earth, which is on the, where I've bolted the relay on, which is a good earthing pin. Um, now you can also see my power wire, it's about 5 or 6 mil, which is fused. It runs a waterproof fuse, um, I run about 20 amp in there. Just have a look in your fridge, you'll be running uh, you know, maybe 12, 13 amps, so 20 amp fuse will be okay. Make it waterproof and that goes direct to your battery. When the switch is flicked, uh, power runs down here and runs down this, this wire here which I've run all the way down underneath my car to the 12 pin at the back. Um, it's most important that you protect that wire because you've got a lot of stones flicking up underneath. So use um, double insulated wire and also run uh, a conduit over it. You can see the, how that sort of twists around and the wire's inside. So I've got two layers of uh, plastic over the wire plus another layer of plastic, heavy duty plastic on that twirly conduit stuff and just zip, just follow some lines down to the back of your car um, there'll be plenty there keep it out of the way um, and keep it protected which goes down to the back of your car always run a 12 pin plug that's the best thing to do because your major power wires um, have the bigger plugs in the back you can put a bigger lead run you know probably four five mil five mil down to your auxiliary uh, side of your 12 pin plug would be, you know, it's either one of the outside ones. Um, 
and your caravan manufacturer should have your fridge um, wired into your auxiliary side as well. And that's it. It's simple, just keep away from the electronic side of your car, go into a non-vital part of your car, wiper motor. Um, if you get a cross circuit or a wires rub through for some reason, comes back to your uh, wiper motor, um, it's only going to blow the fuse and it's not going to fry your computer. And make sure you, you know, put your fuse you know, to your battery and you'll be laughing. While you're doing that, you can have a beer. If your missus doesn't want you having a beer while you're wiring up your uh, auxiliary power, you can tell her Bluey said so. Alright, have a good day.